Hello and welcome back to ARM3 Basic Mission Editing uh, Part 3. This is Part 3. We've talked about Part 1 was uh, getting into our initial point. Uh, part 2 was the objective and getting out and how to end the mission uh, and how to you know, maybe make a trick to see if uh, something was destroyed. Um, now we're going to do like a counter attack. Like if you got, don't pay attention to some of these, I've already put these in here. But if there's a counter attack, you want them to come down and explore around. Maybe you have to go around to get to your exfil and you want to be able to dodge these guys that are coming in. So let's create, and you do have to be careful because if these guys get seen by your helicopter, you know, he may, uh, he may change his mind and do something else. So we're going to go CSAT, uh, Rifle Squad, whoops, Rifle Squad. We're going to put them here in the woods, somewhere out of the way, where it's not going to inter uh, interfere, and they'll come down when things start happening. And we can use that with the A1. Um, we talked about A1 earlier, just create a waypoint, uh, a move. Now, how do you want these guys at first? We want them forced hold fire and careless so that nothing happens and the condition is going to be A1 this will be completed when A1 uh, arrives when A1 happens so um, then what do we want them to do we want them to run uh, down to wherever whatever was going on but we don't want them to stay careless. So on the way to here, they're going to change to fast mode and I don't know, safe. That way they won't fire until fired upon. <clears throat> I want to say keep keep formation. Open fire, keep formation. Now we have to instead of blowing that up <clears throat> and making A1 be true, let's just do this. Let's go. Here's a trigger. Um, I don't know, 10 by 10, something like that. Activation is op for present. On activation, <clears throat> A1 equals true. Oh, that's the equal sign. So hard to tell. So there is a blue 4 here. Op, uh, I'm sorry, op 4 is here and that's going to instantly make A1 be true. So let's check this. We're just going to make ourselves play right here and let's see what happens. Um, we don't want it to happen right away so as soon as we get in the game it'll happen so we don't know if that worked. Where does it tell me the time limit? It's supposed to be a time limit here. Oh my god. Clicking on the guy. Uh, here's the time limit. We'll wait <clears throat> five seconds, let's say. Oh no, let's wait uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, in 20 seconds this will become true and that will complete and he will go to the next uh, waypoint. A1 equals true. Everything's good. We're here. So we're waiting. I'll pull the... Okay, everybody, now he just told us to chill out for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to open my watch up. It's been 10 seconds. We're just all chill right now. There's some shit blowing up over there. And 20 seconds. Oh, uh, he's walking. Um, he's walking. Oh, because we haven't... Uh, he has to complete this one. This one's one where we change him to run. Yes, and then move him on to the next waypoint, which is where we 
he can seek and destroy or something there, let's say. There we go. Let's try that again. So it de sometimes it depends on where you put these waypoints. Uh, if they're too close, it will go ahead and, and tick off. It will go ahead if they're too close. So you want to kind of spread them out a little bit, make the flow go a little bit better. 15 seconds. we got five left. Three, two, one second. Here we go. Let's see what happens. He's going to get to that next waypoint, which is 25 meters away. And we're going to go sprinting now. I got the big gun, so it's going to be hard. We told him to change, didn't we? I thought we told him to change. Move, open fire, oh, safe, uh, aware, and normal, you can go full. Try that. <laughs> it's Sometimes it's trial and error to figure, figure these things out, I mean, until you're doing it a lot. Okay, we've got 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Normal speed on safe is walking. You have to make them aware. One second. Okay. okay. He's going to aware. He's going to run to there. What's he going to do next? There we go. We're on our way. Seek and destroy. We see the smoke. And this is your counterattack. And you can be, you can use a couple of things like that. You can have a tank roll in if you want to. On some maps, the roads don't work too well, so you just, you know, they're going to come over here and stop right there, and your truck will never, uh, you know, get to where it's going to go. Okay, we're going to delete these guys, and we're going to put me back down as the player. And let's tab out and look at our next thing here, which is, yeah, this is checking, oh, military virtual arsenal oh virtual arsenal this is really good this i use this quite a bit i'm going to copy and paste this into let's paste it into the van if we come up to this van oh i already got it in there um a bottle is named van put in ammo box in it comma in quotes uh, bracket quotes ammo box in it quote uh, comma bracket this, comma, true, close bracket, close bracket, call, space, biz, underscore, function, underscore, arsenal. This will give you the arsenal in here. So, let's play the scenario. I'm the guy over here. I'm going to run up to the back of the van. <clears throat> and it says arsenal. Now, you want to use maybe a... Uh, container that would realistically have everything in it um, and you can pick a gun you can change his clothes you can you know give him a, a you know a, a better outfit to wear give him some binoculars some night vision goggles whatever whatever he needs to whatever you might need to finish the mission um, uh, put in his backpack maybe some explosives so if he runs out he can pick up an arsenal and you can put that anywhere you can put a crate anywhere on the map if he can get to that point and label it on your map resupply and, and there's a, there'll be a boat there with arsenal you know whatever whatever you might need to to get the job done uh, I am going to show you this while I have it up I'm gonna walk down here where I was standing and I'm gonna walk through this trigger that I've Put up, and you're looking at the bottom left hand corner. It says Ghost Rider, blah blah blah. This is very helpful if you want to act like there is a um, commander. Your commander is telling you what to do, giving you hints, um, directing you, letting you know something was completed. Uh, let's show you how I did that. Uh, it, it is very helpful. 
and, and it, you know if you're trying to tell a story and you're going to put this on um, on the workshop or something and you know you're you're not doing mission planning or, or doing the um, the intel up here this is a good way put down an officer somewhere just an officer doesn't matter well it doesn't even have to be an officer it can be any guy put him down and label him HQ that's your, your headquarters and then in the init field put this set group ID Ghost Rider and you can say uh, what, what are they always saying uh, um, oh, I forget what he calls out when he tells me what to do, you know, on Combat Patrol, uh, Raider, or Viper 1, or whatever you want to, you can put this there. So you can call him Headquarters, this set group ID, Ghost Rider, close bracket, and a, a semicolon, and put him somewhere where he is not going to interfere uh, with anything. Now, when you get to here, when you get into this trigger, say, use two um, blocks of explosives. Whatever kind of hint you want to give. Two blocks of explosives. Um, create a trigger to where you step inside of it, or the owner, you can drag the line to it. Headquarters, side chat. Headquarters side chat, blah blah blah. You know, uh, whatever you want to say. Two two demos should do. Two demo blocks, demolition blocks should do it. So as you come up out of the water, put it somewhere around here because you know he's going to go into it. Uh, make it big enough. And let's hit play. Let's walk into this trigger. Ghost Rider, two demo blocks should do it. And, and I wish there was a little beep or something that I could make a sound happen when that happens <laughs> so that it would draw the um, user's attention down to the, uh, the bottom, like a little radio chatter. And I know there is uh, some stuff over here in the modules called Headquarters Entity, uh, but it didn't work when I when I did it. Uh, we can do it again. Headquarters. Oh, that's the oh damn. Uh, this what is it? Set um, set group ID. This set group ID. Open bracket, quote, uh, Viper, or whatever. Close quote, semicolon. We'll call it HQ1. And we will set this to be HQ1. <clears throat> HQ1 side chat. Uh, three blocks should do it. That way we know if it works. Play it. That's a headquarter entity. I don't know what it. I don't know what it's there for. I don't know what it does. But it gives you so now you don't have to have a guy standing there. Uh, in in the midst of it. Let's see that module. And see if it allows a little beep or any kind of noise. Headquarters entity. Position doesn't matter. Side is blue for. Call sign is base. Custom call sign. Speaker is type 1. I'm not sure. It's a virtual headquarters unit which can be used for playing radio messages. So if you recorded a radio message. Um, that's what I'm assuming it would pull that call sign base. NATO, don't know, side, Blue Fort, yeah, that way Blue Fort sees it. Headquarters entity. 
but it's a module, blah, 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 I don't know. Position has no effect, direction has no effect, only one entity on, of this type can be synced. So, to play a radio message, uh, maybe the radio message has to be, oh, 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 we could do this. As soon as this trigger happens, we can play a sound. That would get the guy to look down, right? Is it a sound or a voice? I don't remember. Here's a beep from a detector. Let's try that. It's a detector for detecting um, uh, mines. See if it beeps. <laughs> That's a little squeal, so that one wouldn't work, but uh, but maybe it would. It brings your attention to the corner. Uh, I think that's going to be it. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, entity, tower, let's tab out. Yeah, starting in the vehicle, we talked about that. Uh, given the invisible age. Oh, markers. Uh, for markers' names. Yeah, set task state and stuff. Here's hostages. Name them H1. I did a, a video on that. Uh, IED, you can create a bomb. Uh, just put a bottle down or some trash and call it IED if you want to. Name, name the variable name IED. And then set a trigger when Blue 4 drives through this part of the road. Uh, make sure no airplane flies over the top either. If you're going to have airplanes flying around, you don't want them to accidentally set off an IED that's on the ground because the triggers go all the way up. So uh, bomb equals, the, you could use the mortar, mortar round, um, create the vehicle, get the position of the IED, then delete the vehicle IED. And you could also use a, a large bomb if you want the explosion to be bigger or even a bigger one, a GPU-12. Just depends on the size of the explosion you want to happen. And here's the uh, uh, description of that. Uh, set task, sync task, and things like that. That helps you, uh, helps the player know what's going on in the, let's see, create task and set task state, I think it is. Okay, we want to sync to here, then sync to here, and then when this explodes, when A1 equals true, of course, yes, we want to sync that to this. Now the create task is where you would, whoops, the create task is, you would say, um, I don't know, uh, tower. Uh, the title is Blow Up Tower, maybe, I don't know. Blow, blow Tower. And in here, use one demo block to destroy the tower, blah, yada, yada, yada. And in here, when it's completed, you want to mark it completed. You just check it completed. And if you miss it, you, know, you leave it blank, it's assigned, it's not assigned. Uh, failed um, and canceled if the if the guy cancels it out. So let's step in and take a look at that one real quick. 20 minute video here. So let's check our map. We have something up here now called task and there's a uh, icon blow tower unassigned. So we want to blow the tower. We want to assign that task once we blow it, it'll be completed, and it'll check off that, um, okay, they want us to use three demo blocks, <laughs> so, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We'll use our own firing device, let's get down in the water. I'm pretty sure if we go through here again, it'll tell us again. The sound didn't happen, but you could put, you could set it to repeat or just once. So let's get down in the water.
we're looking at our task state there. I don't use these because it kind of gives you the destination where you have to go. And I would prefer to use my compass to find my way. At night, you can use the stars to find north if you don't have a compass. Oh, shit. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Yeah, I was a little close. Okay, there you go. Task completed. Blow tower. So that helps the... Uh... And now, since A1 equals true, here comes the bad guys. Or here comes my helicopter to pick me up. Uh, but all I have to do right now is to swim that direction. and Or maybe have my boat come back and get me. I don't know. Um, I'm going to heal my left arm, right arm here. Packing bandage? I don't know. I've uh, increased the uh, ace options here, so I'm a little I'm a little new with that. So I need to turn it back down to what I'm used to. Yeah, he's still hurt. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments.